Welcome back to PWA for Beginners. And we're still in chapter four, where we talk about native integrations in depth. Today, we're starting with UX best practices for PWAs. And here with me in the studio on the big screen again is Diego. Hi. Hello, Beth. How are you? Good. Let's go ahead and get started. What are some of the best practices for uh, you know, UX design that you would recommend building progressive web apps? OK, so. Um... To get started with better UX for PWAs, there are several things that we've been working on Edge that we think are really, really important for uh, people that are interested in getting started with PWAs to know. The first one is not necessarily about the application itself, but like, let's say it's a life cycle and uh, management of the PWA. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about like app management. We're going to then go and talk about window controls overlay, which is a very neat feature that allows you to create uh, let's say to emulate ti custom title bars. And then we're going to go with uh, OS uh, theming, which is kind of like a standard uh, uh, modern practice in, in, in devices nowadays. Cool. So we're going to start with app management. Um, we discussed in the previous chapter about acquisition and how we can have a PWA uh, sourced from the store or a PWA that would be sourced from the browser. Mm -hmm. So one thing that's very hand, very useful to know is that there is a URL which kind of has an application hub and it will list all the applications that you're getting from the store that are PWAs and all the applications that are uh, PWAs uh, that are sourced from the browser. So if you actually go on your browser and you go to edge colon slash slash apps, then you're going to get a list or a grid of your installed apps. And this is more or less how, how it looks. Uh, what's really cool here is that you are going to be able to see all the details, permissions, let's say advanced functionality that you might have of uh, installed applications and do some management tasks like installation uh, or just uh, tinkering with uh, permissions, cookies, trackers and other privacy settings. So this is kind of cool. This is very neat. And uh, it's something that, you know, for the end user, it's important to to know. And also for the developers to know that your application will be listed here. I actually never knew about this until this moment. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really powerful. And let's say that it's just another way that we want to make sure that your progressive web application is present in an, in another surface in right. the operating system, apart from being, you know, integrated into the start menu and, and some other places. So we're going to continue with um, OS theming. And this one is actually really cool because you know how sometimes you're in the dark or when it's getting, uh, when the sun is setting, your device <laughs> auto switches right. to like um, a dark mode? Like a blue screen that, you know, uh, changes colors that protects your eyes. And then dark theme for developers all day, every day. Exactly. And I am a big fan of like not being working, you know, late at night with just a big bright uh, screen in front of you. Yeah. So modern operating systems, whether they are mobile or desktop, have these sort of capabilities. And we can see how one PWA can adapt to the theme that in this case, it's the theme that the browser is on. So if you have Microsoft Edge, on a light theme, then your website and your PWA will be displaying a, let's say, light version of your website. And of course, if it's in a dark theme, the browser, then it will go on the dark theme of the PWA. And did you actually know that you can sync your browser theme to the operating system theme? I didn't used to know that. Uh, the other day, I was debugging my progressive web app on my own, and that's when I figured out that there's actually you know, different settings that you can do. Yes, and it's really useful because if you have your browser synced with the operating system and your PWA or your website is synced with your browser, then this pretty much means that your PWA is synced with the theme of Windows. So if Windows is in a dark mode, your PWA will be in a dark mode. And if Windows is in a light theme, then your PWA will be in a in light theme. Super cool. The way that you would accomplish this is by defining different styles and the way that you would define styles, of course, is on CSS. So let's say that you can have some CSS custom properties defined on a light version of uh, a, a cascade style sheet, and you would specify a media query. 
So you would say, you know, I when there's a setting to light or the media query would read the preferred color scheme is light, then it would load in this case, the light.css file. And it's analogous to how you would do it in uh, for dark mode. If the preferred color scheme is dark, then you would be able to just load a styles selectively for a dark themed PWA. And something that is really, really cool is that you can also selectively load different images. So different image assets, depending on the platform's active theme. Right. So because it's just say, like two different versions of uh, style sheets anyways, right? That's awesome. Indeed. But also like inside the HTML, you can set uh, different images that will be appearing depending on if the website is dark or light. And that is really cool because you can play with just making sure that it's not only applying, let's say, a CSS filter to make it grayscale or a bit uh, uh, lowering down the brightness, but also just completely changing to a different image, depending on, on the theme that your operating system is in. Cool. And uh, the other, the last feature that we're going to be talking about, which is window controls overlay. I am a huge fan <laughs> of this one, Beth. Like, this is something that we've been working for a while, and we are super excited to announce that, you know, that it's been out for uh, since Edge 105, mm -hmm. which is the window controls overlay. Have you heard about this one? I have, I have, probably from you, honestly, <laughs> through our interactions, because I know that you manage some of these features. So tell me more, what is window uh, controls overlay? I keep saying, every time I see this line, I keep calling it windows control overlay versus window controls overlay. Anyways, go ahead. Tell us more. Yes. So the window controls overlay is basically a new API that frees the area that is that would be generally occupied by the title bar in an operating system. So you know how when you have an open app, this app has a title bar. And in this title bar, you're going to have generally some window controls like close, maximize, and minimize. Mm -hmm. And um, this is how you would interact with the window. You can drag the window, you can move the window around pretty much. So with this API, and, and if actually you remember the Spotify app that we were discussing on the previous lesson, the only difference was that one of them had a, um, a solid colored title bar. So with this API, the the developer is going to be able to just make sure that they have all the space available and create very cool title bars like the ones that you currently see on applications like PowerPoint or like Spotify or like Microsoft Teams, which, you know, they have a search box or they can have like your profile icon and they can have like custom controls. So that is really, really powerful. Right. Otherwise, it'll just be like an empty space and sometimes different colors. Right. And it looks really exactly. just not integrated at all. Cool. Exactly. And this is something that's supported on Windows, Mac, uh, Chrome OS, and Linux. It's something that is enabled in the manifest file. And you have either a JavaScript API, if you're more of a programmatically controlling the feature, or you have also a CSS API. It's available since Chromium 105. And uh, there's even a media query that will allow you to dynamically change the layout of what you're doing, depending on if it's activated or deactivated. So think about this. You get a PW, you get a blank, a completely blank PWA. You start from scratch. But the only thing that you are enabling in the manifest file is the window controls overlay API. So when you launch the window and activate the feature, the image that you have at the moment on the left is how the installed PWA would look on Windows 11. And you can see that the viewport is larger. It's expanding to areas that would generally be occupied by the title bar. Right. And on and on the left, sorry, and on the right, we have the installed PWA on Mac OS. And you yeah. can see as well how you have the stoplights on one side, you have the uh, controls, one of them, the, the toggle to turn the feature on and off, and the 3D menu that comes with Microsoft Edge with the PWAs once you install them. So you're gaining, let's say, around 30 pixels uh, or a bit more or less depending on the platform, but this can really make your application feel like a modern integrated application with the OS. Exactly. Also, 
Um, initially, the feature for security reasons is going to be initially uh, deactivated, but the application will remember the last state of the feature if you toggled it on or off. So you install the application, it's going to be off. But once you turn it on, if you close the app and you reopen it, it's going to remain on. So our users kind of have their option if they like that 30 pixels of something title bar that they can still have it, right? Of the traditional. Feel. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Okay, so we've so talked about ahead. three different things today. There were uh, app management, exactly. and then we talked about OS theming, and then we talked about o uh, Windows Control Overlay, which apparently is Diego's favorite. Hopefully, you guys can go out and uh, implement those in your own progressive web apps. So as usual, here are some resources on the screen that you can go check out uh, more information around progressive web apps. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about further integrations with your operating system. Stay tuned.